What's good, YouTube? Today we got a Jubilee video with Christians having a, having a discussion with ex-Christians. And um, they're on an interesting topic. It's saying, can you be gay and still be Christian? And uh, they're covering their personal thoughts. And Johnny right here, he's covering what he's saying. And I wanted to give my personal opinion at the end of us listening to what they're discussing. But uh, if you guys like the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. I'm be a gang member. My dad beat me, he was an alcoholic. My mom, all of that was an excuse, right? I chose, you like chose. she was saying, right? You chose. So I chose, I'm going to follow my thoughts and believe in myself. Do you guys understand? And from that, I became a gang member. When I lived my own way and I trusted my own self, essentially being my own God. When you trusted yourself. Yes, I know that right. decision. I'm, I'm, the judge. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm really, really sorry. Everything that you're bringing up to the table are decisions. When did you chose to be gay? Right, no, I did not. There was no choice for me. You can't help who you fall in love with, right? And like, say if you, uh, are, are you biracial, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, so ditto and stuff. And uh, you know, like uh, at some point, maybe our parents and stuff, right? People were like, how dare Don't you that. be with this yeah, person, oh, you know, yeah. our grandparents, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And stuff, and it's like, you can't help who you love and you're not supposed to, but people told them they were supposed to. So I can't help who I fall in love with. And I'm not supposed to because Jesus Christ, he did all these things with people that were very not, uh, they're all supposed to go Jesus to hell. Jesus didn't follow the Bible. So, yeah. Not very much. He was, he was extremely, Your own not follow his he own was extremely <laughs> kind and loving to everybody and said, no matter what and stuff, just, just trust in my heart. Do you understand that he also is saving people healing them and also saying go and sin no more. He right. wasn't saying let's all party Do and let's all want. people like to but say he's just like up and, and love loving someone though isn't isn't partying and having a good time being like who's <laughs> at the bar. That's Literally a bar. Literally having like companionship but and it, love. Ha companionship and he's not and saying love. even the woman who was caught in adultery, yeah. he wasn't saying don't throw a stone at her. You're okay, keep doing that. He was like stop that. Don't do that anymore. No, and I that's get what that his, he was that's saying. His don't whole... be a harlot or don't be extra about it, right? And stuff. But me, there is nothing. He made me this way. There I is disagree. nothing I can do. How many testimonies have you seen? But Whether I was born in the, gay. In the LGBT, we can agree to disagree. But how many you can't testimonies? disagree though about my life though. We can argue. Yeah, but, we can argue the same no thing about that. Can I finish? Though, I can I born, finish my yeah, sentence yeah, yeah. though? But I, hypothetically, I'm not that. What do you I was say, born this way. What do you say about all of the people who have come out of the LGBT lifestyle and have said this is where it started? I can pinpoint something happened. I can pinpoint a trauma. I can pinpoint they weren't but just. That's their I think story they're lying. Though. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Let's accept, it. Let's, a, it, let's accept it as true. Let's just give that as true. Yeah, right. What makes the other thing false? Right, 100. Like you I don't can, understand. You can have, like, that's you their can story. go through trauma and whoa, yeah, that made you mm -hmm. whoever you are. Then that's maybe not my story. Okay. Well, I don't think that's that's not that, and that I'm still who I am. I'm glad your life was really great. Well, I don't I'm think not. we could just focus just on homosexuality for two hours. Yes. Well, that was the prompt. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know Jake. I don't know his uh, experience, and I can't judge his heart. But if Jake really believes Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior, dying on the cross for his sins, yes, I think God will work in his heart. I mean, there are sins in my life that I haven't repented of. I'm not perfect either. I think I think in heaven. No one is gay. Yes, gay people can become Christians oh. and go to heaven, but in heaven, what? I'm, I'm, really God so God makes mistakes, You're so. Be, I'm so right, right. sick of so, gay like Christians comparing, unicorn. like they say, all sin is equal. They don't believe that. No, like, they don't. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It's a day-to-day -day thing. If I'm always lying, I'm always cheating. I'm always, I have no, I have no. Yeah, those things are those bad. are decisions. Why is being gay bad? Yeah, and again, those are decisions leading to. Okay, let me ask you I answered it like three times. I studied theology gay? for many, is it many for you? years. Is it purely that just because it's in the Bible? Like, exactly. not, like you, when you see me, exactly. like if you saw me kiss a, a guy or like there hold is no hands, natural you don't come reason. off this way as someone who seems like that's off-putting to you. No, it's not I, because I could of that. Be wrong. It's because, well, theologically, I don't know why the Bible is against it. I don't know why God says these things. Then ask those questions. But yeah. the important. Bible is clear in saying this is God's standard. Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't understand the whole mind of God. Well, why don't you don't. understand about there's a design for family? You could say it's about the natural order of creation, that, you know, of procreation and, and how God made things the way so they the are. End all the and beginning. Be all to life. Now, that's my interpretification. Yeah, like, do you only I have can't sex say 100% no. that that's what I want. Yeah. Not even in nature. That doesn't even happen no, in nature. Yeah, I can't think for God. 
But I do know what the Bible is clear in its teachings. But you, don't you, but he don't gives you, us logic you say, and reasoning. We, we should have questions. Wouldn't you be humble yeah, enough Kelly, to say what's on your mind? And based off of what they were saying, I just want to make a couple points clear. Like, I do believe, I truly do believe that people can be born gay. Like, I do believe that. Not because I was born gay or anything, but like, if you think about it, the typical man, the typical straight man, me for an example, like when I was born, like I had a unusual desire to like, you know, be attracted to women. Like, like I was like in love with women, like since I even knew much about women, like the, like a, like women's feminine, like the feminine structure of a woman just automatically had my attention, even though I knew nothing about that. But like, even though I admired that beauty, like a couple years after that, even like maybe I can say that like, you know, seeing, you know, certain, you know, music videos, TV shows, things about, you know, uh, you know, women being over sexualized maybe played a big part in that. But like at a young age, bro, I had a, I had this natural desire to just have sex with just and like just multiple women, bro. Just basically promiscuity. That like that's a that's a true fact. Like you know that's you know sexual sexually being in sexually being sexually immoral is a sin, and it's a sexual sin. For me to have the sexually immoral sin to want to have sex with multiple women, or for them to want to have sex with men or have sex with another woman, it's like it's the same it's the same sin, but just in a different in a different construct like it's a different a different a different way of doing that sin so like for and what i'm getting at is like for me for me to want to get closer to the lord i had to stop enjoying that sin i had to cut off the desires of my body of my flesh so i had to cut i had to crucify my flesh and had to turn to christ so christ says one woman sex after marriage so that like i just had like you just have to work i mean you nobody's gonna be perfect and nobody can just straight crucify the flesh and just just do the right thing like you have to you know pray to god ask jesus to take away those you know those sinly desires things of that nature then you get better but like what i'm saying with as a straight man that's struggling basically with the same sin as a gay man, it's like the same sexual sin for a straight man to be able to cut off his sexual desires to have sex with multiple women is no different from a man being gay and want to have sex with men. It's the same sin and it can be controlled. It can be taken care of the same way. So for somebody to say that they was born this, born this way, it is it's true. It's true. You know, I was I was born the way I was. You was born the way you was. We just have two different crosses that we have to carry. For you to say that you don't want to fix what you have going on just because you was born that way, you're giving into your flesh. Which I'm not saying, which I want to get into my second point, just because you're struggling with that and you're, you're caught up in that lie, I wouldn't say is automatically what is going to like i'm not going to say that's going to send you to hell because you know if you truly believe in jesus jesus is going to he's going to continue to work on you with that but it does say if you keep on if you keep ignoring the holy spirit if you keep on wanting to live a certain way you know you keep hardening hardening your heart and you want to live worldly things of that nature it does say in the Bible that God will give you up to those desires. So for you, for somebody to say that they, they was born this way, they don't like they like it's one thing to be ignorant to it. But if somebody sits and explains it to you and it makes sense and you still choose to go your own way and harden your heart, then, uh, you know, you God's giving you up to your desires. And that's whenever it becomes you know, blaspheming the Holy Spirit and not saying that's a one time sin, but if you live that way until death, that is, that is, that is, that's whenever it becomes like, you know, Jesus is loving, grace is forever. But if you choose to walk away from God and you choose to keep sinning, 
and you choose to do this, then that's whenever it's not Jesus is doing it. It's not God that's doing it. It's you walking away from God. So that's like me. Like I'm gonna bring it completely off the top of being like a, you know the gay the gay uh, subject. So that's like me being sexually immoral and having sex with multiple women, and I know it's wrong. I know it's vanity. Like I'm getting nothing from it. It's empty and. The Holy Spirit is telling me over and over, like, you know this is wrong. You know this is wrong. You sleep with this girl. This happened. You know it's wrong. You know that you you know what you're supposed to do, and I just keep grieving the Holy Spirit. If I die in that sin, you know, that that's what happens. And, uh, like, and it's, like, you know, it's one thing to, you know, you fall, like, you you like you like it's one thing to stumble as you're trying to get better that god can look at your heart and he can see that you're working on it and if you're stumbling along the way to getting better as long as at least you're you know you're meeting god halfway you're trying and he can see that but if you refuse like to see the truth and refuse to you know replace that lie with you know the truth then i mean that Let's be honest. If you if you just keep on feeding yourself delusion, then that's you just hardening your heart. Like let's be honest. Like I know what it says in the Bible. It says no sex, no sex before marriage. So I'll give an example. So it says no sex before marriage. So I was like, okay, cool. Like I can I can give up having sex with all these women and look for my true woman. No problem. But I was like, okay, I can masturbate until I find that woman. But masturbation is a sin as well. And I was ignorant to it and I was doing, you know, you know I was, you know, you know, masturbating, doing whatever, you doing that. And I used to have this somewhat shame, which you can, is an indicator that the Holy Spirit is telling you that it's not right. But, you know, ignoring that feeling, I needed, I needed, I needed the hard truth. And I needed to, even though it doesn't say that in the Bible, it does say it in the Bible, though. It just doesn't say masturbation. But what I'm getting at is uh, I was like, you know, it doesn't say this. You know, I was twisting, you know, trying to twist scripture to make it sound like it's okay. And, uh, you know, I was just going about it. And once it got, once it, once I decided that I want to get as close to God as possible, that's when I was like, okay, I got to fix all these bad habits or these habits that I think that I have that aren't that are holding me back from getting closer to God. So when it came to masturbation, I prayed on it. First time I prayed, uh, you know, I prayed about it, looked, studied into it, found my answer, ignored it, and went about it, just kept doing it. Then I prayed about it again, asked a friend about it, you know, confessed what I was doing. He told me the same thing that I heard before. And then, I, then once I heard that, I kind of, I was I was still on the fence about it, but I was like, okay, all right, all right, let me, let me. He might he might be on to something. I just didn't want to hear it. I was trying to, I was just feeding myself delusion, and then I just finally, you know, kept once I kept looking and looking, I found my I found the answer, and in the Bible it says to uh to crucify your fleshly desires and you know masturbation you know one that. One to masturbate is a sexual desire, so like a selfish desire, so a self-pleasuring desire. And it's also, masturbation is a form of sex, so it's like you're having sex with yourself. And it's like, sex, that's still, that's still sex before marriage, so that makes it wrong. Like, it makes it a sin. And uh, I just, I didn't see it that way until I, until the lies in my self delusion started to be unraveled and the truth came out. And I can honestly say since I found the truth and prayed to God and asked him to help me work on that and you know walk like to walk with me towards getting getting rid of this bad habit, like, you know, I still get I still get urges and desires from time to time, but it's easier to fight them now that I know the truth. Versus whenever I didn't know the truth and it wasn't clearly in scripture, I could twist it and confuse myself, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video because I was just listening to him. And I was just like, 
Yeah, I was like, yeah, you, 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 I definitely believe you was born gay, and it's not a choice. You was born that way. It was your cross, that's your personal cross that you have to carry. But for a straight man, look at it in our sense. We are born, we want to have sex with every single beautiful woman, bro. And that is just, we cannot do that. One woman, after marriage, that's it. So uh, if anybody, watches this video uh and i just i just pray that y'all see it from a different you see you gotta look at both perspectives bro like think about it deeper uh pray on it god will reveal whatever you're praying for even if it's some you see something that you don't like i'm telling you it's from god bro if it's the harsh truth bro it's from it's, it's from god god was telling me the harsh truth over and over and i just didn't want to see it until it was just blatantly obvious, like, yes, this is right. But, but do not beat yourself up. We are not in the Old Testament. This is what Jesus came and, you know, sacrificed his life for, for us not to grieve ourselves over or over condemn ourselves about what we're doing. Like, it's good that you feel bad about what you're doing, but don't condemn yourself because if you're working towards being better and turning away from that sin and trying to get close to God, you know, his grace is unlimited. Like our sins are many, but his grace is more. So just know that God looks at the heart and there's nothing you can do on this earth. There's no, there's no good works you can do. There's no bad works you can do without faith. That's going to determine your outcome. The only way you're going to get to heaven is through Jesus. So you can't live a perfect life. You can't be, you can't live like a Pharisee and think that you're going to get to heaven. There's like, they speak on Christians that's condemning them for being gay. Like, that's not okay. Like I said, Christian, like Christians might condemn a gay man, but they might struggle with sexual sins themselves. They want to have sex with everybody. They cheat, things of this nature. It's the same thing, like the same exact thing. So anybody that's condemning gay people, is, is like some, that's a fair, that's a Pharisee type personality. So I'll, be careful about that. But if I have to come to a complete answer, is is like is being gay a sin? Yes. Is it wrong? Yes. Should you fix it? Yes. Could should you condemn yourself? No. G does Jesus still love you? Yes. Me, if I have gay friends, am I gonna accept the fact that he is gay? No, it's wrong. But am I still gonna love that friend? Yes, I still love my friend. It's okay. Don't stay that way. It's the it's the thing. Do not stay that way. If I have to fight my sexual desires and my sexual immor like immortal or if I have to fight being sexually immoral, you like it should be it should motivate you to fight yours as well. Even though we're on two separate sides of defense, like it's the same battle, bro. So just let this sink in. Uh if anybody made it to the end, man, God bless you. I pray. I pray, I pray that this uh, Hudson's is able to touch your heart. I know a lot of people need to see this. Um, and I will say, this ain't even my like theory. This ain't even my uh, way of thinking. I heard this from Cliff, and Cliff was explaining this to a, uh, to a, another gay person. It just that's what clicked in my head, and I was just like, bro, we are the same, bro. Like we are the same people, just on the just two sides of the fence. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Remember, Jesus loves you, and y'all be y'all stay safe, man. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Um.